What is good everyone and welcome to a brand new video. This video is going to be dedicated to improving your movement in Black Ops Cold War, whether it comes to centering and shooting, slide canceling, jump shotting, drop shotting, whatever it may be, all kinds of movement in Black Ops Cold War. And let me know down in the comments if I missed anything about movement or anything you want me to further expand on in maybe another video. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so first comes first things first this is what we got to talk about we got to talk about the slide cancel it's still a thing in this game modern warfare made slide canceling very popular but now you can still do it the same way so you run you double hit for me i double hit my right analog stick then i aim in because it's just habit and then i hit my x button or my back left paddle on my scuff so what i'll do it look like this slide side aim and jump slide side aim and jump slide side aim and x slide side aim and x and it is really good to do around corners or if you're sliding behind like a head glitch or something because it'll catch the other person off guard like instead of just walking the head glitch like this and just preaming like that if you just run up to it slide you can hit them with a nice mean camera and then you can completely mess them up so that's most importantly what we have to get down if you don't have the slide cancel down make sure to practice it right, it's very important to slide down steps or slide down anything that's a downward slope because if you just run like this it's pretty slow and you can get shot in your back the whole time while you're running down but if you run down this and you slide down, you get a speed boost. So you get some momentum and the people from behind you can't see you. Let's say I know there's a guy like over here. I'll slide down. Look to my right. I'll be ready. I won't just be running down like a bot. <laughs> you never want to have bot like movement. You always want to be ready and cracked as the cool kids say. So make sure you're sliding down, whether it be a street, stairs, anything to gain momentum. It's so important to make your character move faster and break the other people's cameras. Now we're going to be talking about strafing. It's been in every COD. You've strafed whether you've known it or not. It's when you're aimed in like this and you're moving around back and forth. You always want to try and like just move different directions, throw the enemy shot off so their bullets don't hit you. But you also want to be able to control your recoil and your aim when you're strafing so that you can hit your bullets and you get the kill while they're missing their bullets. So the good thing about customization of the guns and like the uh, gunsmith is actually that you can build a class setup to have certain things, whether it can be run faster when you're sprinting, when you're having a uh, aim down sight movement. Like I had the SOCOM eliminator on and that hurts your shooting move speed. So that means when I'm shooting, my strafe is gonna be slower because of that. Um, on the field agent group I have on also hurts my shooting move speed. But if I took that off, and I put something else on that doesn't affect my shooting move speed, I'd be able to stray faster when I am shooting. So aim walking movement speed is what the S the SOFD speed grip hurts. You can see it down in the pros and or in the cons. And pretty much that means when you're just aimed in, it's gonna slow you down. So depending on the type of player you are, if you like to strafe a lot and you're good at controlling it, you can put the things on that benefits you to have a faster strafe. But let's say you don't like strafing, you don't have to use those things. You could be very plain and basic with the strafes. Like it doesn't have to be some crazy wide walk and stand. It could just literally just be little jitter, stutter movements back and forth. So hopefully this will help you improve and work on your strafe game. My personal favorite movements in all Call of Duty history is the ledge slide. So let's say there's someone under here and I know I'm in a gunfight with them. We've been shooting at each other. I could run off and just drop down like this, but it gives me, you see how it like bounces my screen a little bit and just drop down like this that can mess up my shot or i could run off and jump like this you see my like character and gun kind of bounces that can mess up my shot as well it can still work don't get me wrong and i'm still going to do that at some points when it's the right time but ledge sliding is the most effective the smoothest way and there's very little to no bounce when you land so watch this i'm going to sprint off hold my right analog bang slide off very smoothly and that's why ledge sliding is so good and you can do it off so many objects on the map which helps you get to areas faster so run off hold your right analog bang look how much further i went oh let's go somewhere where i can ledge slide let's say like back here okay i see this little wall right here i run i run i jump i failed i run i run i run i jump what the beat the clock ledge slide like that there's so many things you can ledge slide off it's very important to take advantage of it it will help you get the spots on the map faster and help you get more kills now remember how i said that jumping off stuff can kind of mess up your aim it's not bad all the time though sometimes it's really good let's say a player is right here and he knows you're up these steps so he's just priming this and waiting for you to slide down let's say i slide down like this i might win the gunfight 
but it's like a 50 50 but if i jump off this and go wide that will for sure catch him off guard like this jump around the corner bang because there's no way he's just going to be pre-aiming the middle of the air like this and if he is he's probably hacking or he's just the best player in the world because everyone's going to pre-aim low for the slide so this is a situation where jumping off will catch him off guard it's very good even though it might mess up your aim assist and your aim a little bit for a couple of shots it can help you get the kill because you're catching him just so off guard you're getting that first bullet on him and you if you hit that first bullet on him it's likely the rest of your bullets are going to follow that bullet and you're going to get the kill very quickly my youtube editor i'm thankful for you but i need you to fast forward the clips of me running while i show everyone what ledge slides you can do on the map just real quickly starting now i'm gonna run around the map in a circle and show you guys everything you can ledge slide on moscow ledge slide off that over here, over here, window. ledge slide through that run up here run up here get on the statue ledge slide off that so I might have to just go like this. Let's slide off that. And we hit a little 360. This is the nice one. I love this ledge slide right here. Mm, bang. Let's slide off that. Go off this. Sprint. Let's slide. Another one. Another one on the chest table in the park. Let's go. Come on. There we go. One more. One more. One more. No. I burgered the last ledge slide. One more time. 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 Okay. Okay. It's, just, it's not meant to be. It's not meant to be. It's chalk, chalk it up. So I've realized why that ledge I was messing up. You can't just run and jump and hit the ledge like that. You have to already be on this thing and then you slide off of it like that. Another very important movement in Call of Duty is the shimmy or shoulder peeking. So pretty much I get full on the street. I can see that. I can see that head glitch and I can see the eskies push. But I'm not really exposing myself to any if I'm just moving around like this. So you can go like this back and forth in certain windows or you can throw a little crouch in there too. Get a little bit of info without putting your life in danger. And then if you feel like the person's hurt or they get hit by a nade or whatever it may be, then you can engage in the gunfight. But this is helping you getting so much info without putting your life at risk. It's very helpful. It's especially good to do in like windows. Like let's say I want to get info that the person is in that window. I think he's pre-aiming in there. I get hit a little slide across. I saw him go back there. I can slide behind this little middle pillar. Oh, we good? Slide back out. We're done. We're out of there. Bang. Experimenting with a lot and finding a lot of success is doing the crouch stand up shot when you are just running around the map. I feel like it throws people's auto aim off really badly in this game. It's been all right in some other CODs. It can kind of get you headshotted sometime. But in this COD, I feel like if I'm just staying crouched like this, I get headshotted a lot. Or you're just on like a head glitch like this, I get headshotted a lot. So I think it's been really good to just a little jump crouch or a crouch stand up walk just kind of shimmy strafe doing it as well and uh, i've been finding a lot of success getting kills with it and not getting killed or some honestly dodging bullets so i really think you guys should try this and incorporate it into your gameplay whether you're an ar player sub player shotgun player whatever it may be i feel like this is a really helpful tactic that you can add to help get you a couple more kills and maybe even dodge a few bullets in call of duty enough how important it is to have the airborne elastic wrap as the handle for most of your guns sometimes on subs you want to use a different one like i like using the speed tape sometimes on subs but for ars i always have the airborne elastic wrap on strictly for the aim while going prone it is just so good to just hit them with drop shots like around this corner drop shot like this i'm just chilling i'm laying down i just stand up normally i could drop shot i could just walk up and don't worry about anything now let's switch my class to this Actually, wait, let's just take this off. Let's just put speed tape on, for example. Uh, let me hit the switch, hit the switch. Let me, is that like a barrel or anything that I can like? Ah, there we go, that works. Um, now let's try and drop shot without the airborne elastic wrap and just see how bad it is. You're standing, oh, look at that. How do you put your hand down to put down? No one's going to get a kill, and if you do get the kill, you're going to be very lucky. They have to have been close up. They're not at range, but like, look at how bad it is to just drop shot and stand up without the airborne elastic wrap. So like I said, I cannot stress it enough. Please put the airborne elastic wrap on if you are an AR player or a player in general that likes to drop shot. You can use it on any gun, but please put this on. It will help you so much catch enemies off guard. And last but not least, I wanna talk about the sensitivity. Right now, I am on 661. Uh, where is my controller? There it is. 661 right here. And someone commented on my video the other day and said, why does it look like you play on such a high sensitivity when you're moving around when you only play on 661 and that's because of the centering and predicting and looking into the future of where you think someone's going to be so let's say i think someone's going to be around this corner to the left 
But some people might do is just run around, come here, and then pre-aim. Now, what I'm gonna do is that's gonna make my screen look a lot faster and my movement look a lot smoother. Just run around, get close, and like that. So when I'm sliding, I'm gonna move my aim to the left and just be pre-aiming, slide canceling the corner and being ready. And that's what helps make your movement look very smooth, even when you're on a lower sensitivity. Cause when you're on a lower sensitivity, like 6'6", six, six, you can still move around and whip around just as fast as you need to. But it's all about your prediction skills and remembering the hotspots on the map, knowing where the enemy is, or uh, just honestly guessing. Cause you think someone's gonna be there. You might as well take the guess. Cause if you guess right, you get the kill, you were prepared for it. Of course, if they're not there, it's all good. You keep on going until you find them but guys hopefully this video is helpful hopefully it can help fix your movement or improve your movement uh if you've already had really good movement but thank you guys all for watching if you made it to the end of the video i appreciate all the support in the videos recently i'm gonna keep trying to drop these helpful video for you guys so make sure to like uh this video i would really appreciate that and let me know any other tip videos you'd like me to make any other tips you would like me to talk about in call of duty and i can help you with that thank you guys all for watching i will see you in the next one as always my name is attach and i'm out peace